Greetings, Goblins. Jordan here with another RCR CBC RPG. I just got my copy of Shadow Dark in the mail, and I am excited to crack open this already dusty tome. This will also kind of be a reaction video, as I have yet to see really any content about Shadow Dark. I know that there are things like torches tracked in real time, but other than that, I really don't know much about Shadow Dark at this moment. So, I'm as excited as you are to crack this thing open and get to reading. So let's cue the music. Read, comment, review, chapter by chapter with you, a new RPG we can all referee, on my PDF folders a crew. Shadow Dark. Right out of the gate we have this awesome undead looking beholder thing. Uh, the art is just bar none in my opinion. This is exactly the kind of art I would love to have in my own RPG, which I am writing and very excited about. Can you hear that? Okay, so right out of the gate we have some weapons here, including the Bastard Sword, a personal favorite of mine. Let's scroll down and see. We've got armor, pretty standard stuff here. Alright, let's get into it. This is probably our list of quick rules, which I always like to see in the front of a book. Difficulty class. Easy, DC 9. Leaping a narrow chasm. Sneaking up on an inattentive guard. Normal, DC 12. Kicking open a stuck door. Picking a poor lock. Hard, DC 15. Swimming against a strong current. Giving first aid to stop a character from dying. Extreme, DC 18. Climbing a slippery cliff one-handed. Restraining a frenzied lion. <laughs> Distance, movement. Close, 5 feet. Near, up to 30 feet. Far, within sight. Now that is a pretty generous set of ranges. Climbing. Dex or strength check. Half speed. Fall if fail by 5 or more points. Interesting. Falling, 1d6 every 10 feet. Standard. Moving through. Move freely through allies. Pass a strength or dex check to move through enemies. Swimming. Swim half speed, strength check in rough water. Con check if holding breath. Fail 1d6 damage per round until exiting hazard. Morale. Enemies who are reduced to half their number or half their hit points for a solo enemy flee if they fail a DC 15 wisdom check. Large groups make one check using a leader's wisdom modifier. Dying, death timer, 1d4 plus con modifier rounds. I'm guessing that means a round is one minute. On turn, roll a d20, 20 equals rise with one HP. So if you get a crit, you rise with one health. Stabilize, close range DC 15 intelligence check. On success, target stops dying, but is still unconscious. Spell Focus You can't cast other focus spells while focusing. Do a spell casting check at the start of your turn for the focus spell to maintain it. Success The spell stays in effect until the start of your next turn. Failure The spell ends. If you were focusing, you do not lose the ability to cast that spell. Distraction Immediately do a spellcasting check to maintain focus. Okay, this is all pretty straightforward stuff, especially if you played any like OSR, old school Renaissance, or you know, old school essentials, things like that. I wanted to get the artists in there because I feel like, especially for Shadow Dark, the art is particularly on point as far as like evoking a certain feel and style. And it's one of my favorite things about Shadow Dark. Shadow Dark, writing, design, layout, all Kelsey Dion, props to her. Art, Lucas Court, Corte, Court? That's a lot of art. Brandish Gilhelm, oh man, another favorite. Jesse Egan, Yuri Perkowski, Domingo, Matt Morrow, Matt Ray, and Mark Lyons. Oh, and Abdul Latif. Here we have a standard content section. I did want to note through this section how sort of plain the language is here. There's no wasted words, it's just, this is what you need to know. So that if you're in the moment trying to figure things out, it's all right there. You can quickly access these quick rules and figure out what is trying to be said here and parse it out even when your brain is running on all pistons and firing at 110%. These quick rules with not a lot of words are very helpful. So that's a plus. 
Oh man. Another great piece here. Introduction. In these knighted halls, doom and glory bloom eternal. This is the story of the Shadow Dark. They were crawlers, and so they dared the lost halls of the Shadow Dark. They went down through the old trap door in the rusty mug cellar, greasing the owner's palms with a few silver drems. First came the spiders, prickling legs, burning fangs. They descended on silent threads from the dark high ceiling. Krieg finally burned the skittering devils to ash with blasts of magic fire. Krieg finally burned the skittering devils to ash with blasts of magical fire. The carved stone walls grew denser, darker. Iraga almost lost her head to a scythe snapping out of the wall. It was Relina who found the hidden door behind the demonic statue, and so they went deeper. The worked stone turned to damp cavern walls. Distant hisses and screams echoed in the pitch black, and leather-winged abominations swooped in with hooked talons, tearing at Jorban's shield and flesh. I kind of like Jorban. Maybe I'll go by Jorban. But the treasure they found, dusty gold coins stamped with forgotten emperors, fat rubies dangling from silver chains, glittering swords plucked from the hands of moldy skeletons. Soon the torches grew thin, the wounds grew numerous, the magic grew weak. The crawlers had met their true foe. It was all around them, never slowing, never sleeping, never ending. It was the Shadow Dark, and the fight had only just begun. Shadow Dark. What is... <laughs> I have to do this without laughing. What is Shadow Dark? Shadow Dark is a fantasy adventure game where you and your companions delve into buried ruins, lost cities, spider-infested forests, and even fearsome dungeon lairs in search of gold and glory. I also should do a count of how, much, how often gold and glory comes up. The Shadow Dark is any place where danger and darkness hold sway. It clutches ancient secrets and dusty treasures in its rotting claws, daring fortune seekers to tempt their fates. With your adventuring companions at your side, you confront the Shadow Dark's sinister traps, formidable magics, and ruthless monsters. If you survive, you'll bring back untold riches plucked from the jaws of death itself, and before long, you'll hear the Shadow Dark's call once again. What defines this game? Actually, I want to stop here and give Kelsey props, because this is typically where it says, what is a role-playing game? So we're only one for two right now. This is a much better question. What defines this game? Speed, danger, and simplicity. Magic is perilous, and battles are fast and deadly. Being clever is crucial for survival. Shadow Dark RPG is rules light and intuitive. It encourages quick decisions rather than hunting through the rulebook for answers. Plus, I just decided this video, I'm going to do like a thumbs up versus thumbs down, and we'll see by the end where things are, if there's more thumbs up than thumbs down. One thumbs up for the art, two for the quick reference in the front, and third for having a game that encourages just coming up with the rule rather than digging through the book. So, so far, three thumbs up, and that's it. In this game, a torch only holds back the pressing darkness for one hour of real-world time. There isn't a moment to waste when the flames are burning low. How do I play? Everything you need to play or run the game is in this tome. Turn to the next section to get familiar with the basics. Oh, I will. The basics. If this is your first time playing Shadow Dark RPG, which it is, it's helpful to start with a pre-made character. The free digital Shadow Dark RPG quick start set has a few characters. The GM determines if your actions are successful and describes the results. Bounty hunting is a dangerous profession. This back and forth between you and the GM and your adventuring companions grows and shapes the game world. Always ask yourself, if you were really your character, what would you do right now? Oh, that's very like counter to the way a lot of people say, what would my character do? No, it's, if you were your character, what would you do? And I think that's an important distinction. That's cool. I like the uh, the shadow magic tearing through the world right here. And then, of course, the tin foot pole, a personal favorite of one of my players, Pat, if you're watching. Describe an action. On your turn, describe an action you want to do. For example, you could say you're going to shoot your bow at a troll. The GM might ask you to do a check, see checks, and determine whether your action succeeds. Movement. During your turn, you can move up to near roughly 30 feet. 
You can break this movement up in any way. If you don't take an action, you can move near again. Okay, so near is the amount of distance. It's roughly 30 feet. Got it. Rounds. Each person takes a turn, starting with the GM and going clockwise. The GM controls the monsters and environment and narrates how everyone's actions change the game world. Once everyone has taken a turn, that completes one round. Then a new round begins. Way to go. I made a joke and spilled it all over myself. But you know what? I'm going to keep going because I only have so much time. The dice. You'll need a four-sided D4, a six-sided D6, an eight-sided D8, a ten-sided D10, a twelve-sided D12, and a twenty-sided D20 die. I ran out of fingers. Multiples. 3D6 equals three six-sided dice. Roll them together and add them. Advantage. Roll two times and use the better result. Disadvantage. Roll two times and use the worse result. Stats, which is short for statistics. Stats are your characteristics. And why isn't it care or char? Each stat goes from 3 to 18 and has a bonus or penalty called a modifier or mod from negative 4 to positive 4. Strength, physical power, dexterity, agility, reflexes, constitution, endurance, resistance to injury, intelligence, logical ability, wisdom, instinct, willpower, charisma, appeal, presence, checks. When attempting a risky action, roll a d20 and add a modifier. That's called making a check. Simple. The GM chooses the check's linked stat and a number called a difficulty class, DC. If the total of your d20 roll plus stat modifier equals or beats the DC, your action succeeds. Meets or beats. For example, the GM might say leaping over a narrow chasm requires a DC 9 strength check. Hit points, which is what it used to represent. Characters at zero health points die in 1d4 plus constitution modifier minimum one rounds. Dead characters are retired from play. Let's move on. It's actually kind of hard to drink from this. The lip is really wide. What's next? You could play a whole game with just the basics, but once you're ready for more, the next chapters expand upon them. Let's stop there. You could play a whole game with just the basics. In fact, why not? Hey y'all, that's probably it for this go around. I'm trying to keep this format a little shorter than my first one was. Uh, I also got really sick. I was planning on doing some more shooting and then, uh, yeah, I just got hit by this cold and my voice is just shot. So uh, until I start feeling a little better, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Stay tuned for some more interesting things. I'm going to have a giveaway pretty soon, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to participate in that and uh so make mistakes choose chaos and most importantly have fun